Yes, people, Milan won, Liverpool three, and was there ever any doubt? Was there ever any doubt? We're European royalty boys, come on, man. Um, and just like that, just uh, three days later, the fume is gone. Everything is all uh, great in the world of Liverpool again. Um, yeah, diff uh, it's a really, really, <clears throat> really, really good win. Uh, difficult away ground, especially for your first Champions League game, uh, especially after being uh, being out of the Champions League for a year as well. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with the performance from start to finish, even conceding um, as well. Uh, Milan started off really strong, three big chances. Um, their goal, oh my gosh, that was such a terrible goal to concede. Uh, Christian Pulisic basically runs runs the entire half of our pitch. And then, um, where is Simakas? Just completely disappeared. I don't know why he's so high up the pitch, but yeah. Um, you can see what Milan were doing. They're similar sort of narrow back four. Um, uh, you know, they're four guys in front of of our, of our back four as well. Four attackers um, uh, looking looking to stop us from getting the ball into midfield, for our, um, stop us from passing out from the back. And Liverpool responded really, really well. We didn't panic like we did against Forest. We didn't start spamming the ball. We got the ball into the full back areas. We tried nice switches of play, which allowed us to get the ball, um, allowed us to get a foothold in midfield again. And we controlled the game really well. After their first 10 minutes, after their 10 minutes spell, we basically dominated the entire first half. Um, Salah uh, hits the bar twice. Uh, D um, Diogo Jota, he needs to score that. I'm sorry, that was a dreadful finish. Passes the ball off the pitch. If that's Darwin Nunes, we are throwing everything up. People are going to be throwing stuff out of the pram that we wanted to chuck him off the plane. Um, and yeah, the other thing as well, um, Liverpool, uh, I've been saying this for a while, you know, Liverpool, our team, the amount of set pieces that we get, corners, free kicks in dangerous areas, we don't score enough goals. And it's just... As I was demanding it, up come Virgil and Ibrahim, man. Just two brilliant finishes from corners. Ibrahim and Konate, um, powerful header jumps over everybody. And Virgil van Dijk, man. You can't you can't outmuscle him, man. He just throws Reinders aside and just and, and packs it into the roof of the net, man. Brilliant goals. The second half, it's more of the same. A lot of good control. Um, AC Milan didn't really have anything for us until probably that the last 10, 15 minutes. And Dominic Sabozalai answers the manager's call, man. He... Um, he needed to do more. He needed to show more productivity, and he basically sees out the game for us, man. Um, a very, very uh, difficult finish as well. Um, it's at that weird height; you can't header it, and if you could easily uh, miss, uh, uh, easily uh, fluff your lines and hit the ball uh, over the bar. But yeah, it's a good. It's actually a very tidy finish, to be fair. Um, uh, last, like as I said, the last fifteen minutes, man, we kind of lost control of the game uh, in the sense that we couldn't get a foothold in the midfield. Obviously, Milan are chasing the game as well. They've thrown on subs to try and win the game. Uh, we had to go long a little bit, but it doesn't really matter too much because ultimately we took three points in a very difficult uh, away fixture, man. And listen, I, I need to highlight this person before I wrap things up. Um, Ryan Gravenberch, man. I have been, I've been, I've been very happy with him. I haven't mentioned him at all once this season, but I've been very happy with him. Um, you know, three years on the spin, we've looked for a DM and we've fell flat on our face four times because we missed out on four DMs. And Ryan Gravenberch has really softened that blow, man. It's like the return of the Flacco. Like, he is someone that's putting all of his doubters to bed. Not only is he so... Like, he's showing people why he's so good. Because he's his, his, his footballing IQ is excellent. That's why he's able to make interceptions. He there was this point where... I think it was Rafael Leal. He beats Ibu. Or he beats Trent. And he goes to cut the ball back. A low cross across the box, and and Ryan Gravenberg slides in and takes it out for a for a for a Milan corner. Um, even like winning his physical battles, man. Like when people were saying last season that Ryan is too lightweight, now nah, he's answered that question. He said, "Nah, mate, I'm, I can, I can, I can, um, I can scrap as well, man." And I'm really happy with him. You know, like he's really helped us uh, soften the blow of losing Zuba Mendy, man. But yeah, people, you know, like the video, comment, subscribe, send in your views of you. And I'm out. Peace. Big up, lads. First off, Josh. Amazing viewers review as always, man. The breakdown that you have, I don't think any of uh, the other reviewers like us can do it. So good on you. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, about today's game. Can't lie. Within the first five to ten minutes, I had that feeling. The sinking in feeling as in rinse and repeat of last season the last game against uh, Nottingham Forest what the hell is going on here we can't have two bad performances in a row especially against AC Milan the heritage is the heritage is there Liverpool versus AC Milan 
and then sun zero how do we recover from this deficit ah cool. christian pulisic of all people scores christian pulisic somehow this guy's got a number it's not just him, but a lot of uh, last, Chelsea ex rejects have got a number good, lately, good haven't they? Do the viewers review Anyways, again. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, after the first 10 minutes, Manchester United, I think to myself, nil, Liverpool 3, what, like, what a is going performance. On? What a but game. But then the gear kicks Arnest in. Thought or Arnest Thought? Then we see performances uh, from our what midfield. A, what a start, huh? Who would have and, imagined? Uh, three from games, up top, three Gakpo. Wins. Oh Queen my goodness, cheese. Gakpo. Now, Oof. now Brilliant to everyone stuff. out there, the to Drifty, to everyone, you know, a new what do we want from an attacking team. player who does uh, not about this game? score a goal or I, assist I don't have much goal. to complain about. The Gakpo, uh, the the Gakpo performance, that we've noticed what we've seen throughout. Uh, if we have that sort of performance from each and every other player you can see in the, the front pivot. line... You I can swear, see how the full back I think the playing. entire fan base will be the pressing from the front. When yes, uh, there is a point as in Diogo see, Jota. Uh, he was he did frustrate me, and he did not just frustrate uh, me and maybe the other the high you know that LFC supporters and viewers. Hey ho, the flip side is Fed we one get more pass control that the uh, Maka you, handed him on a plate. Our and then Gapo was like, hey, I'm right here, like pass it to me. Season. And then and the difference Jota being just, our you know, key hits it um, off the target. The front That's when I was like, your Jota, Jota your, what's going uh, on? Diaz, You're the they gunman. are making big impacts. Well, why are you doing these silly things? I'm really like. So that's where I get the team, other angle as in if this was David Nunes, so the entire fan base would be on him. And, uh, from Sobo's life. It's a dicey situation, yeah, as in Jota. He's been really now you're the front so man. You're not getting injured so far. So fingers like crossed. Touch guy, wood and everything. Never runs out of energy. But why now, are you touch wood, like missing such injury for easy opportunities? Three, that would mean either you shoot the target the or you pass it on over to Gakpo I, I would or say Salah, someone else right from the midfield, the attacking uh, midfield. We could have done much better with the signings. Anyway, look, uh, um, I, I don't want to really that's enough about Jota, right but then Mosala, again, shooting boots were kind of on, but nothing can wasn't you know, able to get rid convert of nothing can make me feel on target uh, shots any different um thanks to vvd and konate our center backs at the moment but now let's just <laughs> they, had really uh, they, they had a really good center back uh they had a really good defensive performance but then they also scored goals so that must say something right not just the best center back partnership but also scoring goals so arsenal Hey ho. <laughs> uh, okay, now slot. Happy birthday to you and uh, good comeback. Very good comeback. Very much pleased with the performance. I know it's AC Milan and they're not in the best of the situation with everything going on with them. They may they might be mid table in the you know Italian league, but hey, Champions League is Champions League. That's this is the one place where you know young boys and all your sheriff uh fc teams will just rise up and give a really good game so as a first game really well really good performance now let's see what we do in the next game zone but so far the signs look promising again keep one thing in mind lads and everyone else <sighs> again uh with Ani slot and uh, our current players we just got to be patient we just got to let it fold out and see what happens and by the end of the season uh, end of the season we'll come to a de uh, decision as to how it went but so far i think we are all enjoying it the ups the downs whatever, whatever happens we are all enjoying it so let's go guys let's go out. see ya <laughs>